What's going on guys? Today, we're gonna go into a little bit of networking knowledge and we're gonna talk about DNS. We'll go through, I'll show you some examples of how it works, some attacks that can be had on DNS and also how we can prevent attacks on DNS. So let's get into the video. So what is DNS? Well, DNS is the domain name system. So this is where IPs, every device on the public internet has an IP. That IP address has to map to a URL that you type in the browser. Whether you go to YouTube or Google, it's going to map to an IP address, which is what the computer knows as the destination. Well, something has to tell the computer what that URL address is mapping to in the IP world. So let's take a look at a brief demo so I could show you exactly what I'm talking about. So real quick, let's go into a quick example of exactly how DNS is working. Let's open up a PowerShell command prompt here, and we're gonna use a command called ping. Ping is a command that uses the protocol ICMP. We're not gonna go into that in this video, but it's going to reach out to Google, find the domain name, and the associated IP address for google.com. And you see if I do google.com here and ping that, we're gonna get a reply with the IP address. Now, this is how the DNS works. The google.com URL was requested by the DNS server and the DNS server replied with this IP address right here. And that's simply how it works. So let's get into the next part of this. So if you're somebody who likes things kind of in layman terms, DNS is pretty much just the phone book of the internet and it's gonna allow you to look up what IP address goes with the domain. That's the easiest way to think of it. Now, there is other facets of DNS and we'll look at that real quick. All right, so I have a little presentation here that I put together for you. And just to give you a broad visual understanding of how this works, I like visual presentations when it comes to trying to understand how anything in IT works. And I know quite a lot of people feel the same way. So I'm gonna do that for you guys too. So the first part of this is we have the device, right? This is you that's just browsing through your laptop and you're looking to get out to a certain web page. The first thing that's going to happen is you're going to type in www.google.com. It's going to go to the ISP DNS server and it's going to look for that IP associated with youtube.com. Now, if it can't find that, what's it going to do next? Well, next, it's going to go to the root DNS server and find the IP address that's associated with that URL. Once it finds it, it's going to return the IP address and it says, hey, that maps to 8.8.8.8. .8 .8 .8. That's gonna to return to your PC and you have the IP address and you can now browse over to that web server and the application will then show up on your screen. It's that simple. This is something that is basic in networking. It's fundamental. You'll use it every day. So make sure that you understand how it works in a simplistic way. Now, obviously, DNS can get way more complicated if you're somebody who is doing work on DNS servers. That is not the intent of this video. I want you guys to get a high-level understanding of what it is. So now that we know what DNS is in basic terms, what are some DNS attacks that are out there in the wild being used by malicious people to bring down infrastructure. So let's talk about a DDoS attack. What is a DDoS attack? Well, in this instance, it's gonna be when a user gets a hold of multiple PCs that they infect and make a kind of botnet and send these requests to the DNS servers to flood the servers to the point where they cannot respond and it crashes the server. In that case, anybody else that's trying to get to a web page is not going to be resolved because the server is being flooded with requests from the botnets. Now, there are a bunch of different DNS attacks out there, and I encourage you to go out and educate yourself and do some research. 
the DDoS attack is one of the first ones that you'll always see. So I just wanted to bring that one to your attention so you understand what exactly happens there. So I've told you what DNS is, how it works, and then we talked about how attackers use it and one of their most famous ways to use a DNS attack. So the next thing, obviously, that we got to talk about is how can you prevent these kind of DNS attacks? Well, there's a lot of ways. We'll go over just a couple. Now, in the case of the DDoS attack, what did we say? That it's pretty much a botnet that's creating a bunch of rogue computers that are going to flood these queries on the DNS servers with requests. So what there is to stop this is a DNS sec, DNS S E C. Now this is a protocol that is going to ensure that any DNS requests that are being made are digitally signed by the client and that the server recognizes that digital signature. And then at that point, the DNS server will respond. This will prevent a DNS DDoS attack because when the botnet computers are sending unsigned requests to the server, the server under this protocol is just simply going to ignore those requests, thus making it so that these servers, the DNS servers, they can't be brought down because they're just saying, I'm not going to take your request if you're not signed. Now, another major way that you can help protect DNS is a DNS firewall. This is going to be a firewall that's main duty is to protect the DNS server. Now, how do you do that? Well, it's going to use a feature called rate limiting. Rate limiting pretty much is going to shut down queries coming from devices that are coming in too fast, which exactly what we said a DDoS attack is, right? Multiple computers sending multiple requests. The firewall can use rate limiting to only allow in a certain amount of DNS requests from a device at a time. Thus, again, preventing DDoS. Now guys, there are tons of different attacks out there. There are tons of different mitigations out there. I encourage you, as I said before, do research, learn about these attacks, learn about how to mitigate them. What I wanted you to walk away from in this video was to understand what DNS is, how it works, what ways it's used to attack, and what ways you can mitigate so that you have a high level understanding. Now take what you've learned in this video and do more research, learn more about DNS. So guys, I really hope that this video helped you understand DNS better. If you were somebody on YouTube, maybe a subscriber, maybe just somebody that's trying to figure out what a DNS is that's new to IT, I hope that I was able to clear the air and give you a better understanding of it. Drop a comment down below and let me know what you have learned about DNS after this video. And if you're not a subscriber, hit the subscribe button and the bell notification. This way, when I post new videos, you'll see them too. I appreciate all of you guys, and we will catch you in the next video. See you later.